Hello and welcome to the reset flag tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be learning about the reset flag option in actions that let you iterate and loop through things. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead, create an empty object and give it an FSM. And in here, we're going to do something like get next child, okay? This get next child action is gonna iterate through all the children of a game object and it'll store it here in a little variable for us. It has a loop event, so it's the event to send once we get the next child, and then a finished event that fires off after we get the final child. Okay, then we have the reset flag here, which if I hold my mouse over this, it says it's a bool variable, uh, and if you want to reset the iteration, raise this flag to true when you enter the state. It will indicate you want to start from the beginning again. This is to say that if you have some objects in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and create some empties in here, right? I'm just gonna duplicate them. Okay, we have these eight objects in here. This get next child is going to get all the children under it. You could specify some other game object, but for the sake of this example, we're just getting all the ones here. And we're gonna store the next child as a new variable. We'll just call this next child, okay? Now the loop event, make a new event, call this loop event. We'll add the transition here. And the finished event, be a new event, we'll just call this complete and add it as well. So the complete transition, we're just gonna to send to a state that says done, but the loop event will send down here. And you know, this is where you would, uh, you know, do all the stuff you need for each object, okay? Put in all your actions here or additional states, all your other logic, but then eventually you come back around and you come up to here, okay? Because it loops back around and now it's gonna get the next one. So the first time it grabs the first child, comes here, does some stuff, gets the second child, comes here, does some stuff, third, et cetera, et cetera, right? Now, once it's completed going through all the children, it'll fire off this transition instead and go here. And so just to illustrate this a little more clearly, I'm gonna add a solo, activate solo action, okay? And the game object we're gonna solo is the next child. Okay, so what that's gonna do is it's going to make sure that every game object in here is deactivated except for the current one. And we'll even put in a little wait action here so we can see it all happening. It doesn't happen too fast, okay? So we'll just put like a second in between each of these. Okay, so we'll say solo and we'll call this one get next. Okay, so if I take all these and just deactivate them, Keep an eye on this and we'll see that as it iterates through them, okay? It's the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth, seventh, eighth, and then it goes to done. After it gets the eighth one, it'll still send its loop event, but when it comes back and it says, you've already gotten the final one, that's when it sends the complete event. So here's where reset flags come in because what I could do is in this done state is tell it to come back and do that again. Now, if I just add a finish transition and send it back and I press play, it's going to iterate through all the game objects, all the children, just like it did last time. Okay. And since it completes, it does it again from the start. So this is how all the actions that iterate through lists work. So that goes for a lot of array actions, right? Array get next, as well as a lot of actions from the ecosystem. You're gonna wanna have that option to start all over even if you didn't reach the end. So for example, if I said we have a reset flag, we're gonna create a new variable and we'll call this reset flag. And here in solo, what I'll do is set bool value we're gonna say our reset flag is set to true. Now watch what happens when we play this. Okay, it's going through the motions again, except it only ever activates that first object. And that's because when it comes to the state, when we set that reset flag, it's starting all over again. So it never gets a chance to iterate to the second object. And you could do this, of course, at any point in that loop. If you had a system that set up, so it reached the fifth object, and then set a uh, reset flag bool value, it would start back at zero until it hit the fifth one again. Now, the one thing that's really important to remember about reset flags is, I'm just gonna get rid of this, is that if you're using multiple, so for example, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this, 
okay? And we're gonna say that we're gonna create a new empty, and we'll call this our second list, okay? Make sure it's not a child of that. And we're gonna create an empty object in there, okay? And it has a few of its own, right? We'll make the same amount. And in here, it's gonna do this, it's gonna do the, the solo thing, except we'll get rid of this weight. And solo will just come down here, where we're gonna do our get next part two. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy this action and put it in here. And we'll add the same transitions. Okay, and loop event will also come down here where it'll also have a little activate solo. Okay, it'll get the next child from that one as well, except we're gonna change this to the second list. Okay, so it's getting the child from that one and again, it'll do the activate solo. So we should be able to see these sort of be in sync where it's like the first one from this list and the first one from that list, they'll be in sync, right? And then I'm gonna add a, a little wait here just so we can see it happening again, right? One second, and then it'll come back up to the top here. We'll go all the way back to the first part of this. And then this complete, this will never really get fired off because it'll finish up here. So I can honestly just delete this. Okay, nothing. Solo part two. I'm gonna turn all these off and we'll see this in action. Okay, there you go. See they're in sync, two and two, three and three, four and four, five and five, six and six, seven and seven, and then it stops. Here is the thing that you need to keep in mind is that if you're using reset flags with more than one thing, you can't use the same reset flag. You might be tempted to make both of these use the same reset flag. That way, if you wanted to iterate through them again, say for example, set bool value says reset flag, and you set it to true, and you say here, you might expect this to just go through the same routine that we saw happen in front of us right now. So if I press play, okay, it's going through the same routine, right? This first time around, and then at the end, it's gonna flip that bool value, but look, this time it just gets stuck. You can see that our lists are no longer in sync. And you can see that the state that it's stuck on is the one that doesn't have this little finished event. And that's because when it got here, the reset flag is actually false. Because up here at the top is when it was first used. We set this reset flag to true and it came back here. And when this get next child action saw that the reset flag was true, it was like, okay, we're gonna start from the top. But in doing so, it also made sure to set that reset flag to false because it says, okay, I am starting from the top and now you're gonna need to reset this again to tell me to start from the top again. Because of that, by the time we got here, since this is using the same reset flag, this one did not start from the top and it expects to be completed, but since it doesn't have a complete event, it just got stuck here. Okay, so the simple workaround for this is to just set two reset flags. So a good practice, would be to just make a reset flag, reset flag two, reset flag three, et cetera, et cetera. And honestly, the naming convention can help sometimes because you can say, make a new variable for reset flag underscore second list, right? You could be specific about what that reset flag is for. And then over here in the state where you wanna reset all of those, if you made another one, you could have your reset flag second list get checked, okay? So now that there are two different reset flags, here in the done state, you can see that they're both getting set to true. By the end of this, we should have a system that, yep, it resets properly and has these two lists in sync again. And that's how you can use reset flags with your actions that iterate through values. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.